In the Ryder Cup matches, we all love a bit of water, don't we? You remember the 18th at the Belfry and then back and forward across Lake Kadija at Medina. All adds to the tension and the drama. And here at the 16th, tell us about the kind of computations that you're going to have to factor in as you look at this stretch of water beyond, Andrew. The biggest thing is certainly going to be the, the state of the match. So if you're in front, whether you're trying to protect that lead, uh, in which case strategically you might decide to lay up, leave, leave yourself a good yardage, or whether you're chasing, if you're, if you're behind and you're looking to, to try and chase down the, the team in front, then you might decide to have a pop for it in two. Indeed, but with the wind against today, unlikely that they'd be going for it in two, these Ryder Cup players? Yeah, even, even, for, the, even for the Ryder Cup guys, driving it this far into the wind is, is unlikely. Therefore, it's going to take out any chance of them going for it in two, in which case it's going to be all about, about wedge play, how accurate they can be and how they can control that yardage. Most amateurs would play this three shots to the green, wouldn't they? Yeah, most definitely. It would tend to be uh, a good drive, even then still a long second shot to, to lay up into a good position and then leave yourself that ideal third shot approach shot into the green. OK, well, come Ryder Cup time, some matches will be finishing right there. Others will be coming nicely to the boil.